I'm in the trenches with my rifle, do rag for the title. Dear tag in the clouds, make you question the Bible. This deadly podcast will make you threaten your rivals. Drew Montana and I in my lead, straight finessing your idols. Hey! Back to coke, bro. Brothers talking shit. Hanging by the rope. Bro. Right. Ooh. Ooh, hanging by the rope. Huh? You gonna say that part? <laughs> 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 Don't hang them by the ropers. <laughs> don't hang them by the ropers. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> of all the mean. songs to pick. You know? Yo, right. This is the only we, rap song we're talking about hanging niggas, bro. I've never seen We those. did Billy Idol and Johnny Cash. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah, did, we did drew this. Yo, Hanging man. by the rope. That's crazy. I didn't know he said that in the song. Well, we're not going to say it. <laughs> 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 Throw the tar on the back. <laughs> <laughs> Hit him with the feathers. Yo. Got this brand new jacket, bitch. You know it's made from leather. Got that German shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> Hit him with the fire hoses. <laughs> It's yeah. my water fountain. <laughs> <laughs> so, nigga, what the fuck you want? Go went through that back door. This say what the fuck you want. <laughs> Call me police brutality. <laughs> <laughs> I had a dream. Yo. You had a nightmare. <laughs> All right, hit the yeah. beat, dude. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's that, go. Let, let's fucking hit do the it. fucking beat. All right, dude. let's go. <laughs> 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 I fucked my money up. Now I can't read up. Ran off in his spot. Just to get my stacks up. Now I'm back on deck. Shorty, what the fuck you want? Dirty talking shit. This ain't what the fuck he want. Lock my CEO up. Now it's back to culture. Brothers talking shit. Don't hang them by the ropers. Hit them with the chopper. Call that shit hot lava. Call me Waka Flocka. AKA Young Wild Brother. AKA Young Drug Dealer. Chop herp, got cush, chop herp, got white in the trap all night with the hard ends on. Got the left and he took to the right. So I just break boys and got it all night. Lame ass brother ain't got no fight. Kicking in the door, we gonna shoot all night. Home in the break, the is the K. Hey, oh, let's do it. Oh, let's do it. Hey, oh, let's do it. Yeah. Drug dealer music. Hey, I influence. Hey, I influence. Yeah. Oh, let's do it. Oh, let's do it. Yeah. Dealer music. Hey, I influence. Hey, yeah, yeah, yo. Mm. Yo, my spit tastes like pussy for real. <laughs> <laughs> yo, this mic smells like pussy. Yo, <laughs> what the fuck? Nice. <laughs> yo, hard. Oh, my smoke. My smoke. Y'all must have sprayed Lysol on this one or something. Yeah, I don't be getting loud enough on mine. Yeah, this one smells good. This one, smell, this one smells like for breeze or something. I've been trying to clean them. <laughs> yeah, I see. Yo, we're smelling dudes' mics. That's yeah, crazy. Yo, that's, gay, <laughs> bro. That's, that's like smelling dicks, bro. <laughs> yeah, basically. That's dude. crazy. Slippery slope. Slippery, slippery slope. Dude, we're back. Wow, we're little, back. A little Do solo. Dare tag. Bow, bow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, you know, that, not. That, that type shit. Yeah, bro, that's what we on today. Dude, thank God there's not active shooters in here. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Wasn't there yeah, y'all would be on, so pissed. On I'm Patrick's talking to Roland, dude. Where? In Philly. It was a shooter on St. Patrick's Day. There's shooters every day in Philly. Yeah. We don't get a lot of, like, mass shootings, though. <clears throat> that's good. You know what's crazy is, like, the, technically we do. But they don't consider oh, yeah, they don't it that. Yeah, because yeah. like, it's like oh, gang yeah. shit. Yeah. Is is this block? But don't let me block. be fucking Larry Krasner out here, dude, or whatever. Yo, you right. Call <laughs> yo, you right, yo. They're just like yo, mad people died. <laughs> yeah, but it, if, if you black and you shoot a bunch of niggas, they like uh, gang violence. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, it was a gang. A game of pickup gone wrong. <laughs> Yeah, because it was that shoot at the bus stop. That was a bunch of motherfuckers got shot. Yeah, dude. They they picked those guys up, though. Yeah, they got them. All four of those young wild brothers are picked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo. All the kids be shooting, bro. What, what do you think it is? Man, their bodies are changing. They're confused. They're trying to make sense of the world. Yeah, and kids are just idiots. When you're a teenager, you just freak out over things. Yeah, I remember And you got access out. to a gun. Yeah. Yeah, if I had access to a 
not saying I would have, dude, but it would have been like easier to do as a, a kid with like zero consequences. Oh hell yeah! Why I, not kill somebody, dude? Yeah, one of my <laughs> homies killed somebody when we was twelve, and he got out when we was sixteen. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Not bad. Not that's bad at not all. Not bad at all. Oh, yeah, you're going to release me when I'm in my sexual prime? <laughs> right. <laughs> now I can go fuck? Yes. Dude, middle school is kind of gay anyway, dude. Yeah. You get now, your two I, best years. I, I would skip middle school for sure. Yeah. That should go trash. to jail? Oh, yeah, you're Absolutely. right, yo. Middle school is like the worst years for me. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's really like the purgatory of childhood. Yeah. Because you don't know how to feel. Like, at elementary school, you're really thriving and being a child. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then preteen, it's just like you're you're fucking pimpling out. Yeah. Like you're figuring out what being hard is. And then like high school, you're like, all right. It, yeah. yeah. Well, high school, that still matters. But like preteen, especially certain dudes get cooler than other people quicker. Yeah. So then you're yeah. like 12 and still short. And dudes are like picking on You're like, yo, we were just the same fucking size two <laughs> right. years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you like this now? <laughs> that, that shit is crazy. Yo, you weren't like this. Yeah. Yeah, out of nowhere, one of your friends just gets like ultra aggressive and starts socking you and shit. You're Dude, like, I, what the fuck's happening? I remember one of my friends on the lacrosse team, he was my age, but just because he got big quicker, he was like, yo, we're giving all the freshman haircuts. And I was like, bro, you're a freshman. What are we <laughs> talking about? Why are you giving us haircuts? This is nuts. He was just shaving bald spots into dudes' heads. That's yeah. fucked. Was he big? Yeah, he was pretty big. Yeah, dude. I let him, uh, I got like the, I had longer hair at the time. Not long, but like, kind of like when I, how I look when I don't have a haircut. It's yeah. like a little scraggly. But I got the sides shaved and I got steps put in it. Ooh. That was pretty, oh, pretty nice. lame, dude. That's nice. <laughs> Well, I'm, I wanted to switch it up, and I got on one side, it was like a heart monitor, and it looked fucking horrible. <laughs> it looked so oh, bad. damn. It looked so bad, dude. Just a bunch of zigzags? Yeah, it looked so bad. <laughs> it looked like the print on fucking Charlie Brown shirt. <laughs> it was right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just fucking thick-ass yeah. zigzags and shit, bro. Ew. Damn, damn I never thought about it. That shirt's hella alive. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Right, that shirt beat that is strong, bad. bro. Yeah. That shirt talking about beep, <laughs> beep, <laughs> beep, <laughs> beep. <laughs> hell yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I had a friend that got big as hell like that in ninth grade. My my homie Milk was big as shit. Well, he was a big ass kid like our whole life, but he was like fat. Milk. His name was is Quindell, but everybody called him Milk because I he love just, black people he nicknames huge. more than anything, dude. This guy was yeah, bro. I knew a guy named Terrence, and they called him Spoon because it was nice. <laughs> it was teaspoon. But that's because his first initial was Terrence. Oh, nice. It became Spoon. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah. You have a joke about that, though. I the evolution of it is incredible. Yeah, we our nicknames start out as one thing, and then over the years it just turns into something else. That, I, I feel like uh, the, the way I envision it is like you just do something memorable next to any noun. <laughs> and they're yeah. like, that's you, dude. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Yo, Terrence always eat with spoons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or something embarrassing happens. I'm fucking Splenda, dude. Splenda. No, you don't want that. Yeah, you don't want that. How would you even get that nickname? He loves diners, man. (laughs) (laughs) What? Yo, Splenda always be drinking coffees at the diner. Yo, what the fuck? (laughs) That gets you no nickname. (laughs) Like fucking, like in Splenda? I don't know how this works, man. (laughs) Yeah, bro. No, you should start going to the hood and telling people I go by Splenda. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, they call me Splenda. Yo, this boy's sweet. Yeah. No, no, that's not good. Oh, yeah, you don't want to be sweet. I don't want to be sweet, dude. You they call me. Uh, they call me ponytail in Point Breeze. Yeah, yeah, because I guess there's another white dude that has a ponytail that looks like me. <laughs> but, like, it's multiple people that will stop me and have conversations with me on the way to the uh, corner store. Yeah, they're like, "Yo, ponytail." I'm like, "What's up?" Yeah, <laughs> yo, you, and you never had a ponytail never, down there. Dude. That's hot. They think I'm, that's you. I'm about to be the mayor out there, dude. Oh, yeah. They're starting to fuck with me. I'm getting my respect finally. Nice. Because I realized the the crackheads that I don't like and that I have problems with are the same ones that the rest of those dudes don't like and have problems with. Oh, nice. Okay. So it's like... Oh, you need to instigate that. Yeah. Yeah. Get you have a whole fucking all-out crackhead war on the block, bro. That would be cool. That would be the shit. Dude, they've been... Uh, and just provide guns to your side of the war, not <laughs> not to the other side. No, I'm not providing any guns to the war. <laughs> I will not be providing weapons to the war. You have enough, dude. Sharon is caring. 
Hey, bro. I'm down to three, dude. I can't take care of the whole fucking crackhead war. <laughs> and really? I can't, I can't defend myself. And the crackhead's not even going to use the guns to go to war. They're just going to sell them. <laughs> they yeah. gonna, they yeah. like, I don't, know, I don't know what happened to the gun. I, so, I lost it. Somebody took it. <laughs> I lost your gun. Yeah, you know? <laughs> Mr. Ponytail, I done lost your gun. <laughs> <laughs> Mayor Ponytail. <laughs> Yo, yeah, bro. You don't want that. <laughs> Damn. You can't give a crackhead shit that's worth money. Dude, they're, uh, they're like openly... Now more than ever, because I've always seen people smoke crack on that side block on Lozana, but now it's like almost every day. Yeah. There's people outside smoking crack on that step. That shit popping <clears throat> over there, bro. Damn, dude. Are, are you going to clean up these streets? I feel like I like, have a responsibility, too, as their mayor. Yeah. I mean, in and, and all honesty, bro, the police district is literally a quarter of a block up. <laughs> you yeah. just walk to the police district, like, uh, excuse me, officer, there's a bunch of people smoking crack hey, right here on the corner. follow me this way, yeah. just, just walk, walk fucking two minutes this way. No, they know, dude. They, they, they don't give know. a fucking crap. They yeah. don't give a fuck about that. They don't care about crack. They're like, oh, but this guy's been parked here for three hours. That's hey, what they'll get hey, you man, for, dude. bro. Yeah. That's what the cops will fuck with you There's about. no money in arresting crackheads, dude. That's just another mouth to feed. Yeah, and the Philly County prisons are already, like, over-fucking-booked. <laughs> you can't, they can't lock up anybody else. That's a crazy problem to have, though, because, like... Too many people in jail, <laughs> you can't lock them up. Yo, what do we do now? <laughs> Like, all right, listen, we only going to arrest the people that try to kill somebody. Yeah. If you got a tip to murder, they will lock you up. Anything else, you can't come in here. Yeah. That's crazy. That's nuts. <laughs> that, that's kind of that's kind of nice, though. We, we can have our fun then. True. We, yeah. we can do some crime. Dude, well, I, got, I yeah. got pulled over the other night when I was in D.C., and it was like, I was almost mad at the cop. I was like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Like, in Philly, yeah. I do this shit all the time. Yeah. You made a U-turn? No, it was when I... Um, like a a light was green mm. and the it had like the green left arrow mm. and the arrow had just turned red but it was still green for me and nobody had started going yet okay. so I just burned it and fucking okay yeah made the left but I was like I do that every day in Philly and yeah. that's not a problem yeah you yeah, know nah, DC is a way more civilized city than Philly bro Asian cop bro oh see that he was it, cool though they follow all the rules yeah I got a jaywalking ticket in DC yeah dude how I, fucked up that see what I'm saying I, I actually civilized. I remember you telling me that story and I almost jaywalked and I said nah and I made it to the crosswalk <laughs> and then went yeah. <laughs> I was being a whole fucking respectful guy out there nah bro if, if, if you gonna have to catch me a jaywalking ticket I'm running I'm hard ass they gonna have to catch me bro I didn't even think anything of it I yeah, true. You wouldn't yeah. know why they walk. Yeah, you wouldn't even know why they're yeah. coming up to you because they were already on the other side of the street. Uh, okay. I, I walked across, and then they're like, "Yo," and you're like, "Hello." Yeah, I was like, "What's <laughs> up?" Yeah. What? Yo, a J- that's crazy. Oh, yeah. that would have pissed me off. I'm like, y'all don't have anything better to do. <laughs> like, damn. I don't think there's any traffic stops in Philly. Barely no. any. Well, you know they they stopped it when um something had happened. Remember, and they they like stopped doing traffic stops for petty shit. I think yeah. somebody got killed. Uh, oh no! It was when they they knocked they killed that kid. They hit him off his dirt bike and he died. Oh shit! And then that's when they was like, you know what? If it's not something serious, you can't pull anybody over. They, that seems to be like the only real change of Philly. If someone died during it, like uh, <laughs> that, yo, you right? Yeah. <laughs> Can you say yeah. they won't evict people now? Cause yeah, someone died. Yeah, because <laughs> the, the sheriff's department tried to evict some guy and they fucking shot him and killed him. So now they can't evict anybody. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Damn, that's fucked up. Yo, listen, if you live in Philly, don't rent out properties, yo. Just fucking sell them, bitch, and flip them. Don't rent properties to anybody. No. Yeah, it's, no, it's, it's all squatters. Stupid. Yeah, it's all squatters. It's dumb as hell. The squatter, there's too many squatter rights now. Yeah, those dudes are living. Yeah, hell yeah. I'm, I'm not too read up on them. I heard them, there's like some scams. Oh, yeah, it's a bunch heard, of things that they'll like fake a lease or something like that and just show it. Fake a then. lease, or even if you just like in a property for a long enough period of time, then it's yeah. like it's your property. There's, there's dudes what? who are like renting Airbnbs out for like extended stays and then getting a bill sent there in their name to that address, and then they officially live at that house now. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Yeah. And then they're there for like <laughs> fucking however long until the court figures it out. Yeah, it's wild. But you know what? I used to be mad at the type of shit, but. Rich people take advantage of money loopholes and they don't pay tax and they do a whole bunch of rich ass shit that costs the country way more money than these broke motherfuckers that's just living in a fucking uh, damn near abandoned house. You see what I'm saying? Be careful, you might start a revolution. <laughs> <laughs> that's revolution talk. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yes, if it was my property, I'd be angry if somebody was squatting in my shit. Dude, it is crazy how often, though, I lay in bed thinking about I should start the revolution. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's no fun. Yeah, dude. Revolutions are no fun. <laughs> Chill out. It fucks things up for everybody. People I are say... just carbon zigzags in their head. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> 
That's you how you know. Of truth. <laughs> yeah. That's the mark of the beast, dude. Yeah. 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 We're gonna go outside the White House, light ourselves on fire, and then uh and die. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Just scream, ah, oh, this hurts. The revolution has begun. Yeah. Wow. That's beautiful. Damn, bro. Yo, yesterday I broke my fast and I was eating too fucking hard and I put the fork in my mouth and bit down on it hard as fuck and I chipped one of my back teeth, bro. No, I don't. I don't think it's supposed to chip when it does that. I think you have bad teeth. I mean, I bit down pretty hard on a metal fork. Metal fork, yeah. I'm just kidding. That's perfectly normal. <laughs> <laughs> you bit metal, man. Pretty hard, <laughs> yeah, dude. Your tips, your ch- your shit's gonna snap. And it was. I was walking. I was like eating while I was walking up the steps to come into the studio, and I said, "Oh, just oh fuck." And anyway, Wood and Ben, and I was at the, Chris Wood and Ben and Jordan at the top of the steps. They started cracking the fuck. Like, what, the, <laughs> what the hell you do? I'm like, I just fucking chip my tooth. <laughs> bit down on the fucking fork. Where did you keep the tooth? No, it's, the it's probably the, the tiniest oh. piece of tooth. Like, I can't even. And actually, I thought you meant you, like, cut it in half. No, fuck, though. No. It was like a baby. I don't, it, it wasn't even. It's not even a measurable amount of tooth oh. that came off. It just feels different now than it ever felt. Yeah, that'll happen. Yeah, bro. Never did. I never chipped the tooth before. Oh, I got. Oh, I think all mine are fucking chipped. Fuck what you do, bro. <laughs> I think they're chipped up, bro. Me chewing on bullets and shit. <laughs> No, I don't know, dude. I just uh, I fall a lot, I guess. <laughs> I fall a lot. Mouth first? How the fuck are you falling mouth first? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Riding bikes. These are all old old injuries. Yeah. 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 I I remember I chipped. Dude, I fucking flew like head first over the handlebars on a four-wheeler one time. I hit a tree Damn. and like launched off the shit and the only injury I had was a chip tooth somehow. Oh, that's cool, then. Because it was like I chipped it on, like, the fucking handlebar as I was, like, going over. Damn. <sighs> that's great. I, I mean, does that shit, like, hurt really bad? I never had a tooth injury. No. You don't even notice it. Yeah, I feel like you almost yeah. don't even feel that. Yeah. It's got to be in the roots. Yeah. I, uh, I don't know. That's I guess what Chris I've never Wood said yesterday. He said, he said, does it hurt? And I was like, no. He was like, bro, he said, if you'd have chipped it hard enough, you'd have hit a nerve. He's like, and then that, you got to get that pulled out. He's like, that hurts like hell. I yeah. Said, Damn, that's crazy. I remember my dad had like, <clears throat> like tooth pain down to the nerve, and like he, he it, it's fucking baby time. Yeah, when that happens, dude, yeah, he that, that shit turns you into a baby. Yeah, Damn. Con- constant nerve pain. Oh fuck, that's crazy. Dude. Yeah, have you, I, uh, have I, you seen him endure real pain though? What have you seen him endure? Like what? you, you don't oh, think that's real yeah. pain? <laughs> no, he tried to say your dad might just be a pussy. He, he might he had, be. He had a hard he time. <laughs> <laughs> he could be pussy. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not saying he is. He, the, he's yeah, he had a rough start- time when his parents died. <laughs> that's, yeah, real, yeah. that's real pain. What's yeah. he doing? He's stubbing so. Hospital. <laughs> that, 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 this is his face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that, that's Papa Grease. Yo. All right, I believe the, you. Then. No, he, he, has a, he has a fairly high pain tolerance. <laughs> the, the, Papa Grease is stoic. Okay. He, I want to get him in here. Man. I'm going to get five insects. They're all going to bite him. And we'll judge his pain tolerance. Mm-hmm. I think I think the most you'll do is, you know, he does seem very stoked. He seems like he doesn't. He, he's, he's not too dramatic. He doesn't really. He he's even keel. Get overwhelmed. Dude, you yeah. must not have seen Kings of Pain. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you've seen my dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. No, there, there's insects out there that would fucking take him down, dude. Oh, for sure, that one hundred percent. Nah, yeah, that's crazy. But I believe you. I'm sorry. Continue. Your dad did something to hurt. <laughs> it, hurt, it hurt real bad today. I got a boo boo. Uh, uh, is your dad a veteran? No. Oh, my dad's a damn veteran, oh, dude. Holy shit. In what? The Semper fu- Fi, idiot. Oh, what? Holy shit. <laughs> the fucking gavy, dude. Uh, <laughs> boo. <laughs> yeah, suck. No, no, no. Yeah. no, that was good. That was no, good. that was ass. I no. apologize, dude. Yeah. No, hey, Air Force, have some goddamn respect. Oh, dude. damn. He's a fucking genius. Yeah, did he know how to fly planes, or was he just like a scientist in the Air Force? He he did fly planes, but it wasn't for the Air Force. He just got his pilot's license on the side, dude, just for fun. Okay. <laughs> so what do you do in the Air Force? <laughs> All right, he's cool, dude. He, he, he guarded nukes. What? He guarded nukes. Yo, your dad's the shit. Learned how to fly a plane all in London, dude. Came back, became a fucking chemist, dude. And then came in my mom and made me and now oh, podcast. Shit, oh, shit, well, bro. Well, well, come on. <laughs> what the hell? That's, that's that nice. That dude's nuts. That's, yeah, that's a crazy <laughs> guy, bro. Yo, he went crazy. <laughs> that's a crazy guy, bro. All right. My dad was out here selling <laughs> drugs, bro. <laughs> my, dad was, my dad was selling drugs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
<laughs> busting in a whole bunch of different women, making a ton of kids. That that's pretty cool. No, it ain't. The fuck you mean, bro? I got seventeen siblings, and I probably know four of them, <laughs> dude. Well, yeah, then that's... you don't have seventeen, really, because <laughs> I don't know the rest. Of... I mean, <laughs> I met them. I just don't. I don't bang Uh-oh. with them. They're all like sixty years old. But that, uh, that's, that's like crazy. a that's a true impact on the world. Seventeen kids. True. The 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 way that branches <laughs> out is great. Your your dad's cum that has a carbon footprint bigger than me. Damn, that's crazy. Think he about did, that. He made a lot of copies of himself. Dude, the 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 uh, global warming is happening quicker because of him. You're right, because of my dad Whoa. made too many babies. Yeah, man. Fuck, we all just breathe in that air. That branches out shit. to like like in a few uh, like a few generations. That's like thousands of people. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he's probably, I think he's when my dad died. He said he had like f- either thirty or forty something grandkids. Like Ooh, it's a crazy amount of Jesus. grandkids. Yeah. So yeah, and he got great grandkids. Dude, it's crazy, bro. Dude, the the world is significantly significantly different because you're dead. That's right. crazy. Yeah, true. That's cool stuff. Speaking of two pain, I knocked my dad's front uh, front tooth out when I was like one. I fucking headbutt him. Bow! And knock this shit out. <laughs> I thought you said two, uh, two pain, and I was like, did he mean T-Pain? No. Two, <laughs> yeah. And then you're like, <laughs> yo, buy your drink rules. <laughs> My dad was the original two pain. <laughs> right. Two pain. That shit. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Yeah, I, I knocked this fucking, I knocked this too far. Dude, how hard was your head as a child? Oh, bro, hard, bro. Baby skulls aren't supposed to be that hard. Bro, my head was hard as hell. Knocked this tooth out. And I remember when I was probably, one day he was dropping me to college when I was like 19. And you had putted him and again? I, no, I look, and I hugged him, and he grabbed my shoulder. He said, I should fucking headbutt you in your fucking mouth. I said, what, I said, what the fuck you say that for? <laughs> I said, what the fuck I do to you? And then he pulled the, he pulled his, uh, he, he had a cap over it. He had like a fake tooth in he pulled it better. He was like, he was like, you did this to me when you was one. I said, how long have you been waiting to say this to me, bro? <laughs> I'm like 19 years old. He was like, great guy on my shoulder. He's like, I should fucking hit, but the fuck out you. And I was like, what the fuck? I mean, he waited till it was a fair one at least. He did. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are the like, same what? size at that point. Yeah, right. <laughs> you kind of snuck him, so. I did, true. Yeah. <laughs> but like, damn, you was mad for fucking 18 years? If he had like knocked you out and then stood over you and was like, that's because of my tooth. <laughs> That would have been nuts, but what Yo, he did bite was, this fork. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, right. What he did was kind of cool, dude. Nah, bro, that's kind of crazy. A little crazy. Yeah, like you, <laughs> little nuts. Hell, the eighteen year grudge. Okay, I feel that it's craziness. I hold grudges, dude. <laughs> yeah. You do hold grudges. Yeah. The people that I hate, I will hate forever, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I respect that though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, why not? Yeah, you never want to patch things up. Cause, dude, there's already a lot of people that are in the middle grounds of like friendship, or you know what I mean? Uh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a yeah. lot of acquaintances. True. So the for and I'm trying to make more friends, dude. I'm trying to I'm trying to level more people into the higher bracket. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when people are like, "Yo, fucking, let me get off the middle," I'm like, "Dude, you're not even on the." You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is, yeah. Dude, I'm running a business in, over here, dude. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, this is, I'm fucking, I'm a Fortune 500, brother. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I think I let too many people in. You let a lot of people in. I do. I let way <laughs> too many people in. I also let a lot of people in. You do. You let a lot of people <laughs> yeah. in, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You let a lot of people in. <clears throat> Damn. Bobby, on the other hand, you know, Bobby's sneaky with his because he doesn't let anybody in. I, I, everyone's in, dude. Come on in. Nah, bro. <laughs> nah. Bobby's sneaky. You got like, it's like, it's like three of us that you fuck with, bro. Do you mean like in terms of like hanging out and stuff? Yes. Yeah, I, I I'd am. I'd say it's less than that. Though. It probably is. <laughs> I, I am. I'd a say it's one. It's Claudia. <laughs> <laughs> Rob did come over yesterday, and I was like very pumped about it. Yeah, I did come over, dude. Yeah. Nice. Rob chilled. We watched college basketball. It was mm. March Madness, dude. Rob watched like three games of March Madness. I was very impressed. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't I thought you would have been out after ten minutes of basketball, dude. Nah, I can't do that, dude. I like. Yeah, I'm not gonna see you for another six months. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tip after ten minutes. Hey, we want to take a quick second and thank you, our newest sponsor, Kush Life. Kush Life is the highest quality of TACA you can buy right now, and they'll deliver it directly to your doorstep. Doorstep, doorstep. doorstep. Right to your doorstep, bro. This shit is gas. <laughs> TACA is fully legal in 45 plus states and has the same psychoactive effects as THC T-A-C when heated. heated. So just about any way you consume it, you're gonna get high as hell, bro. bro I'm high as hell. Chris Lake doesn't sell that Delta 8 and Delta 9 junk. Not over here. We don't do that junk. Mm-mm-mm. Yo, somebody put on Wiz Khalifa or something, dude. Hell yeah. Only the highest quality premium THCA T-A cannabis. cannabis. They have a great selection, too. All the strains you know. Gelato. Runts. Mm. 
Gary Payton and more. You get that Gary Payton, you're going to be getting steals like a mm-hmm. boy. You know what I mean? The guys at Kush Life are working on a very special strain for everyone here at Good Boy and you guys out there. So stay tuned for special lines of bud. Along with, this, along with the traditional buds, check out their prices on Moon Rocks and ask them about Kush Soda, which is set to release this spring, too. Wait, they, they got soda? They're going to have Kush Soda in the spring. Damn. Damn. That's cool. That's crazy. I like that. So support all the shows here and check out CushLifeStore.com. Use the promo code CUSHLIFE15 for 15% off of your order with fast and discreet shipping. No one's going to know. That's Kush Life 15 It's discreet. They're not going to put it right on the outside of the package, so it's a secret. Yeah. Try yeah. CushLifeStore.com once, and you'll never go further than your mailbox for great cannabis ever again. Brother, Stuff get on Kush Life. Smoke up. I like that. Yeah, I, I do. I do like chilling at home a little too much. The the setup is too sweet. No, you have a very nice I setup. Know. The setup is too unbelievable. I, yeah, I'm the same way, dude. I have like my spot on the couch rules, and the, like the rest of my setup isn't ideal. I'll admit. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, but when I get my spot, my spot and I can put my feet up and I have double ashtrays on each side of me, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, nobody else doing that. Nobody else got double ashtrays. That that's good. Twin ashtrays. Yeah, that's nice. That's major. I think I think you do have the spot to hang, and that that's advantageous. Thank you. Yeah, you do have the hanging spot. Oh, well, thank you. Well, because you know what? You, your you guys girl, are making me blush. Dude. It's because your girl doesn't live with you. The moment your girl lives with you, your spot is no longer a hang spot. Yeah, yeah. That, that's a that's a good point. I have the bachelor pad, dude. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, b- because you know, look, because I think I, I have a, a good setup as well. But you know, when you're talking shit. The ladies upstairs, right there. Yeah. We gotta whisper stuff. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. No, our pussy got crazy. <laughs> it's like that we're on a, an episode of Big Brother, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that stinks. Yeah, but you know, dude. Excuse me. Yeah, I got, I gotta make it out more. But what are you guys doing? Uh, what are you guys doing this week? Yo, you. That's the thing, bro. You never come hang at Helium. Yeah, yeah I'll be at Helium. but that, that's because that shit sucks to go to. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like hanging yeah. with you guys, but it, it's a whole ordeal with nah. the parking. Nah, yeah, you're right. And then, and then sometimes it's like a, uh, all the all the biggest fights happen at Helium. They do. You know? Every time someone gets in an argument, it happened at Helium. Yo, you know what? Lately, since I haven't been smoking, I've realized that everybody's just way too fucked up in there, bro. And it's People just get not, fucked up. Yeah, it's just not conducive for social situations. Like I, I do like the, the free drinks, but then that leads to madness. It leads to madness, yo. It's always <laughs> madness. Yo, that, that day... Also, you've been on fire in there lately with the arguments. No, <laughs> Dude, I'm you, not starting You've them. been holding court in Helium lately. <laughs> I wasn't starting the arguments, bro. But People were starting with me. But somehow you end up in the middle of every circle arguing with like a half moon of people. It's unbelievable. <laughs> nah, bro. Damn. He's he's gassing no, it. I'm not. I, mean, I, got one, I got one argument one day. <laughs> no. That's the only argument I got. Dude, the same I day to, with Damo, it was I that same leave. day. Yeah. <laughs> I literally, Yo, look, it started out me and him arguing, and then Damo jumped in and started arguing with him, and then I started arguing with her. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? He, you don't know what the fuck he's going through right now. He <laughs> was on fire. <laughs> yeah, bro. I didn't want to argue with anybody. Yeah. I was trying you to don't know him. what he's going through? Yeah, I, I, I really, I, that was really what I said. I'm like, you don't understand what the fuck he's going through right now. Wow. <laughs> she and was bro, so loud. She was just being so loud. Damo? Yeah. And look, in that day, I wasn't. She, she's pretty, like, low key. Normally. Must have, been, must have been hammered. She was hammered. And thing, she was look, that, a good time. That day I wasn't drinking or smoking. I was just, remember the other day I had the fucking pineapple juices. And then, everybody, yeah. and then everything just got turned up in there. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. Too and, much pineapple juice. Yo, I'm like, what the hell's that? It was, and then it wasn't, it's, you know what it is? It's a combination of too many different types of people. You got motherfuckers mm-hmm. that's too high, motherfuckers that's too drunk, a sober motherfucker over here. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. People so, that uh, are funny. People that are really not funny. Right. People Staff that, members that's fucking may or may not have tried to yeah. commit suicide. You see what I'm saying? Dude, There's all types of things. the craziest shit. I, you have. No, right, that yeah, was sorry, another I'm one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm no. Sorry. I mean, we could talk about it. <laughs> you should You should have been detained that night. That was unbelievable. <laughs> you were going crazy. And I wasn't even drunk. You were going was, that crazy? I was dead sober. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dead sober, he walked in there. He's like, "Hey, yo, who in here tried to kill himself last week?" <laughs> Everybody's looking at him like, "He's like, nah, I heard one of y'all tried to kill yourself." 
<laughs> yo, whole my staff, bad. Whole staff like big eye looking at him like. Yeah, yo, my bad. And then yo, you're pulled, still asking. And then he pulled over two people individually. Because they're all like, bullshit and lying, bro. Stop lying to yo, me. Yo, did you kill yourself? No, he like dunked them yo, in the I, chest. So he said, yo, who tried to fucking kill themselves? Don't play with me. Come on, don't leave me hanging. He said, don't fucking play with me. Who tried? It was all bullshit and lying, bro. Just tell me what happened. <laughs> Damn. Damn so, you uh, can't go in yelling that. So so uh so who who did it? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 who did it? Apparently <laughs> didn't happen. Yep. Apparently did not happen. We're just gonna rock with that. We're gonna rock with it didn't happen, bro. <laughs> I learned my lesson. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't bring it up ever again. <laughs> did you come in drunk or did you just come in all? No, up? I came in just hype and so you see how I am, bro. I'm just hype all the time now. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, he's that, gotta get back on weed. Dude. I can't, yo. It ruins me. <laughs> this shit is crazy. Bro, we yo, we're gonna make it way faster because I'm not smoking weed. Now maybe once we got some money in our pockets, then I can smoke weed again. But bro, for now, no. There's no space for us to be bullshitting in life, bro. We gotta go attack this shit, bro. We gotta go at it. Yeah, you know who did kill themselves? Who did? Who killed himself? Rasta Emi. Oh, yeah. Rasta Emi <laughs> might be dead, R. I. P. bro. R.I.P. him. R.I.P. Half Sleep Emi. Sharane. Sharane. You know what I'm saying? What the <laughs> fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> that was Muslim prayers? <laughs> no, that, that was a Rihanna song. Because <laughs> she's Jamaican. Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, is that not also Muslim prayers? <laughs> Uh, she actually, is that, it's actually not even a Rihanna song. It's a, a song she did just for SNL about a shy white kid named Shy Ronnie. <laughs> okay. Shy Ronnie. Oh, sh- oh I see. Shy yeah, I Ronnie. I was like, damn, yeah. that's an exotic name. Not Shy Ronnie. Uh-uh. Shy Ronnie. He's a shy boy named Ronnie. I guarantee you have a cousin named Shirani. <laughs> I probably do <laughs> got a cousin named Shirani. <laughs> uh, I got a cousin named Roderick. Roderick? That's a good mm-hmm. name. We everybody call him Rod. Of course. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we could call him Eric. I never even thought about Roderick. Saying, bro. Damn, yeah. We could call him Eric. They gave that guy seven names or more. <laughs> <laughs> what is he, a fucking Megazord of names? A Megazord. <laughs> Yo. You could just unattach his name, put them all together, and make <laughs> They took a nigga named Rod, a nigga named Eric, and mashed them together. <laughs> and and <they> Derek. <laughs> and Derek, yep. Oh, yeah. Damn. And Ro. Ro. And Rick. And bro. Ick. Rick. Damn. Damn. And Dur. Try to do it backwards real quick. Nothing. Damn. Dirk. No. Roger Rick. Kidder. 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 Yeah. That's a name. There's a lot of names in one name, bro. Yeah. Damn, yeah, too yeah. many names. He can fight like a motherfucker too. He ain't even used the box. He, he used to seven fuck me up. Inside him. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. Because every time he's fighting someone, he's jumping them. He's two guys. <laughs> yeah. The spirit of seven men inside. Hell yeah, yeah. yo. Wow. Good, good for him. Well, shout out Roderick. Roderick. Yeah. Shout out to Roderick. It's good, bro. Mom yeah. or dad side. Mom side. Not her. Yeah, what? what does that even mean? Why? Ooh. <laughs> Yo, what? <Rough. laughs> yeah. Ooh. Mm-hmm. And he had a, his brother's name is Blair. I used to be jealous that they had such cool names. A lady's name? Yeah. Yeah, Blair is a lady's name, I guess. Yeah, but... That, but it, if you can fight and your name's Blair and your brother's name's Roderick... And everybody's like, yo, here come Rod and Blair, yo. It's like, oh, shit. Rod and Dude, Blair's if you can good. fight, you yeah. could have, like, the gayest of names ever. Most it doesn't people, matter. Yo, yeah. a lot of people with gay names can fight. Yo, my homie Riv, you know, you saw, you met Riv before? Yeah. His real name, his first name is Kirsten. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's rough. But he's big as fuck and can beat the shit out of people. Well, yeah, it's a sick name, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I actually fucking love that name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot that guy is pretty big. It's a cool name. <laughs> If I was if I was a sick fighter, I would give myself a gay name so people fuck with me. Yeah, right. Yo, that's fucking Buttfucker Jones. <laughs> Yo, fucker. <laughs> Yo, that's Bussy Cruz. Yo. <laughs> Damn. Dude, I was thinking about, uh, like, crazy <laughs> UFC nicknames and, like, do you think there's, like, a limit on how long they can make them? Or do you think if somebody went up there and they're, like, fucking, I don't give me something wild, dude, whatever, use yeah, your yeah. imagination. But like it was like twenty words long. Oh, all right, you say? You think they'd make Bruce Buffer say that whole thing? Oh, you have to. I, I think if it's attached to uh, religion or like deep in culture, like they have to say it. No, but even for because uh, there have been UFC fighters with like a four part nickname. But I'm wondering how far can it go? 
Yeah. But yeah. If I was like the apple juice drinking, donkey kicking, karate kid <laughs> motherfucker, like would Bruce Buffer say all that? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think that's long enough for him to not eat. To, I think he would want to say that. I think that's probably the perfect length right there. You want to hit somebody with one apple of those. Apple juice drinking, donkey kicking, karate kid motherfucker. Because at that point, you can just go into a whole Ric Flair rant. You see what I'm saying? Hit him with a woo, all that shit yeah. in between, bro. You see what I'm saying? That just woke me up. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes got wide. Yo. <laughs> Damn, dude. I was putting work, myself work. to sleep for a second. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Damn, you guys fucking stupid. Yeah. Yo, you stupid. Damn, you waking dudes up, dude. I'm calling you coffee, dude. Yeah, I'm calling you coffee. <laughs> Come on, please. I like that. I like that. Uh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised that there hasn't been a, a a fighter that used like a drug for a nickname, like Nyquil, like he oh. put people to sleep, or Xanax or something. The Xanax bar, yeah, hey, bro. The Xanax, Drew, the Xanax bar. You know what I'm saying? That's actually fire. Montana, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's fire. What? That'd be crazy. Yeah, yeah if I do, if I do Carnival <laughs> Combat again this year, that's 100. Yeah, hell yeah, Ooh. just knocking motherfuckers out, making them forget everything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's the nice. Next bar. That's a good nickname, dog. That's a great nickname. The Time Traveler. That's a good nickname. <laughs> That's gay as fuck. The Time Traveler? <laughs> what the fuck even is that? What, you, what even is that? Just thinking. Yo, you have no ball. idea. I actually knocked you out last week. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you've been here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing how this goes for you. Yeah. Not good. Yo, I did this fight a thousand times. Yo, you look, yo, if you are, right, if that's your nickname, if that is your nickname and you like 30 and 0, that's nuts. People will be yeah, believe like, it. They'll believe it. Yeah. They'll be like, oh, shit, motherfucker, really time travel. Dude, I laughed so hard when we were watching basketball yesterday. And whoever we were watching, the team was like down 12 with like 30 seconds to go. Mm. And the coach just grabbed the clipboard and started like fucking <laughs> scribbling like <laughs> frantically. And James was like, what do you think he's writing? Or like, what play do you think he's drawing up? I was like, that motherfucker writing time equations to go back and start the game over. <laughs> <laughs> and then just the idea of the coach being like, give me the clipboard, we gotta go back in time. Yo. <laughs> and the whole team being like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? <laughs> the secret is going back in seconds. <laughs> <laughs> he, he just started running around the gym counterclockwise, fast and shit, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reverse all of this. I'm gonna reverse all of this. Nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> Get my fucking Mandalorian. Uh, that's fucking crazy. Dude, it made me laugh for like five. I think I cried tears. That's funny that, as hell. Yesterday. That was very funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Damn. Do, do you think we, if we figure out time travel, we should do it? Or of do you course. think we should squash that? Nah, do you think it could be too catastrophic? Anything you figure out, you should do. Yeah? Yes. I, I just watched Jurassic Park, so I've been asking these questions. What they got to do with they time, travel. time travel? What the fuck <laughs> you talking about, bro? They, they, they make the argument of just because we can do it. Should uh, we do okay. it? Okay. Yes, anything that you can do, do it. Clone people, go trans. Fuck it. <laughs> do everything, bro. Everything, go go back in time. Clone people, go trans. <laughs> do everything, bro. Gene splice with animals. You Clone what I'm yourself, make that one trans. Oh, and then bully him. Bully him. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, ah, you dickhead, you could look like this. Now you got titties it would and be, wide shoulders. It would be cool to have like an army of clones <laughs> and experiment on them, dude. Just to, like, see what you could have potentially been. Oh, yeah, like the movie, you ever see Multiplicity? And he just keeps cloning himself so many times that, the, like, they start being retarded. I well, like that. Because his clones start making clones of themselves. Oh, yeah. And yeah, then that, he, that happens. Yeah, In bro. the clone world, that does happen. You can't clone, you can't do that, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'd want, like, five of them, I guess. One to, like... Oh, that's how many he had. I think he had five of them. Oh, well, maybe three, then. And then he had one that would, like, go... He, he, he had one that would just, like, go out on dates with his girl so he could do other shit. I want one Ooh. to do, like, normal you shit for me. You want that because then she starts falling for him, bro, and then now you hate yourself. You like, she's falling for me. No, bro. No, no, that's not you, bro. That's, that's me! That's a copy of you. That's not exactly yeah, you. Yeah, not you. You don't have the same memories, yeah. He's gonna fuck your girl, and then, then what? With my dick. <laughs> True, it is your dick. You know? But what do you got? <laughs> but he might have different moves. He might have better moves than you have. Mm, but I could have thought of them. You could have thought of them because he thought of them. Yeah. True. Uh, I think, yeah, I but think if it's he thought definitely... of them first, you won't remember them until you think of them. Mm. <laughs> See that? Yeah, think about that, dude. That'll fuck you, bro. You need, you, you can't have your clone fuck your lady. You have to have one to do like dishes and like household chores. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know he had that one. That was his, the gay one because he cloned it. So one of his, his original clone made a clone, and then that one was gay. And that one just did all like the housework and shit. Yeah, so you can have a gay <laughs> one. You can yeah. have a trans one because it'd be funny to see what you look like as a woman. True. Yeah. And you can lobotomize one because it'd be funny to lobotomize somebody. No, he's going to be <laughs> fucked up. No, dude. Lobotomies fixed a lot of people. Yeah, they made bitches quiet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, my wife's fussing too much. No. She there's, has a fucking problem. There's plenty of pictures, dude, of uh, before and after lobotomies, and people were all depressed, and then mm-hmm. they were smiling afterwards. Yeah. They dude, did the uh, giant. Dudes used to be pumped after lobotomies. Yeah. Dudes used to be real pumped. That That is kind of nice, dude. I would like to hit the off switch. Yeah, bro. Just yank a piece of brain. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. not that, dude. No? No. no. You they think f- they're fully cognizant? They're just happy? Yeah, they fix you. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. But the, the, the doctor just picks my nose for a little bit. Yeah. And I'm fucking chilling. Yank a piece of brain out. Ooh. Is that they go through the nose? Yeah, they do go through the nose. I thought it was right through the fucking. Fuck no. They do that shit yeah. like a chisel or some shit, bro. They take a shit. Uh. <laughs> right up your damn snaz. Yeah, maybe yeah. not then. They did the John F. Kennedy's sister. <clears throat> they lobotomize her and then they put her in a fucking crazy home. After the lobotomy? Yeah, which is like, why don't you even fucking do it then? You should just put her in a crazy home without the lobotomy. That's a bad doctor. Yeah, he might have went too far. I think. Took too much brain out. Damn, and she, she never recovered? You can't grow a brain back? <clears throat> yeah, I don't think you nah. can grow that back, bro. Damn. I don't think you could do it. I saw a video of, uh, they were like studying brains with CTE and this dude was just holding this athlete's brain. Oh yeah, I saw that shit. It yeah. was huge too. Big brain. Huge big brain. Dome. And like, it's just like, dude, that's like a dude you're holding. Yes. That's his whole life. That's a guy you're holding. That's his whole life was inside of that brain. That's what people think, dude. You don't think it's in the brain? Some of it. Yeah, some of it's in the heart, bro. I think there's core memories in here, dude. Some of it's in the heart, bro. It is. Yeah. They, you know, they're starting to believe that you do have certain thoughts and shit from your heart, bro. I believe it. Certain shit come from right here, it's, dog. It's not all hippocampuses and uh, Magula Oblongatas or whatever. Right. Magula. Magula. <laughs> Magula. <laughs> Magula Oblongatis. Ah, uh, your Magula Oblongata. <laughs> that's what that's what Italians got. Yeah, that's a pasta. <laughs> yeah, yo. <laughs> that's a dish. Yo, damn. damn. Yeah, bro, you got make you got to make decisions with your heart. Sometimes you ever do that? All the time. Yeah, you know what? You seem like you make all your decisions with your heart. Big heart guy. Yeah. Big heart guy. Lately, I've been making a lot of decisions with this thing, bro. Before, yep. all from down here. All my decisions mm. right from the dick, bro. Not no more. I mean, no that, more. how's it serving you? Do you like it better? Oh, great. I'm, I'm as logical as ever. I'm making great decisions now. That's true. Things bet. aren't going wrong. That maybe you have a little heart as well. No, I'm fucked that. I've yeah, done you're that done with the heart. I'm done with uh, no more decisions from the heart for me, bro. That's not good. That's how you end up married. None at all. I mean, I guess for my kids, I make, you know, for my kids, I do make decisions from the heart. Yeah, there come you on, go. dude. Sometimes for my friends, when they're in need, I make some decisions from the heart. Good. Even the Grinch made decisions from the heart. Yeah, that's true. You do got to do some things from the heart, bro. I think. Yeah, you can't be heartless, dude. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, just just a pinch, even. But you you have been on one, dude. It's It's been cool to see. Um, yeah. You're fucking clipping it up. Yeah, too You're many. Working? Too many. Three, four a day. Not good. <laughs> Getting 12 likes sometimes because it's like, nah, what are you doing? See what I'm saying? That, you know what I think it possibly is? What's that? I, I think pe- when people are scrolling real fast, they, they see the same background, and then they're like, mm, I saw this I clip I saw already. this one. Yeah. That's part right, of it. You're right, Bobby. It, it could be. You're right. If it's if it's too many. You're right. But, dude, I mean, it's a numbers game, dude. Just keep clicking I'm going to keep up. doing Fuck it, bro. Keep doing your thing. And it, it, look, and here's the thing. If it don't get a lot of likes the first time, I'm going to delete that bitch, and then repost it again the next day, bro. Fuck it. It don't matter. <laughs> it don't fucking matter. Yeah, you're on your Michael Scott shit. You're like, I'll just start another paper company. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start another one. And another, another one. and another. <clears throat> you, know, you just got to do things. Yeah. The more things you do, the the higher percentage chance you have of fucking making a ton of money. Yeah. that Well, that's the numbers game, obviously. Dude. Yeah, bro. You just you just do one thing. They teach you that day one of selling Verizon door to door. That is day the one. The more so. doors you knock on. The, the, every retard in the fucking world knows that, dude. Mm-hmm. You gotta yeah. do a bunch of things. But you're right. And if I'm just like, bro, I'm doing so many things. I took my daughter to the playground earlier. This has nothing to do with the last thing we talked about. But oh well. And this is a thing. You did a thing. thing. I did a thing. And then there's some girl that I was talking to on Instagram. Yeah. She walks to, into the playground. Matter of fact, remember the joint I was showing you when we was at Helium that night? The fucking super bad bitch, bro. Mm-hmm. Bro, she walks into the playground. I'm looking like there's no way that's her. 
And she's on the monkey bars. And then she's looking like, there's no way. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. But, then, but look, then our daughter started playing together. They start making out? No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, shit, knowing my daughter, shit, probably the fuck. <laughs> yeah, dude, you're coming lesbian. Yeah, That's yeah, crazy. The fuck, but <laughs> it might it might have happened. But yeah, they start playing, and I was like, what? And I was like, well, should I go say something to this lady? But I'm like, nah, that's kind of creepy. Mm. No, you got. Yeah, say but something. I mean, if the kids are playing, it's almost weirder not to say something. You know what you should have done? You should have uh, lightly bit your daughter on the arm and then accused. Her daughter, <laughs> your daughter. Yeah, daughter. yeah. Hey, uh-huh. fucking bitch daughter bit my daughter. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do about it, lady? We're going to get this daughter put down. Like, Wait. Yeah, I'm going to get your you... daughter put down or you're going to suck me <laughs> off. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm calling the cops. I'll meet you in the Nissan in five. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, you handled this poorly. <laughs> no, I didn't want to be <laughs> creepy about it. And she was on the phone. I'm like, what's you on the phone with a guy? Hang that shit up. <laughs> That's yeah. craziness. Boop. I just take her phone out of her hand and throw it. That that's Magula I'm glad God of shit. <laughs> Magula Agla Agla. We gonna fuck yeah. this word up forever. I like that. Yeah, Magula Agla Agla wasn't working. It that wasn't, day. yo. I, my my Magula Agla Agla said, "Don't be a creep." And I was like, "Bro, I'm not even being a creep. We we talk all the time. You talk all the time. You gotta say something." She you was got, on the phone. That 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 reminds me. Of Did high you school. wave? No, I didn't fucking wave. That's gay as fuck. I left. Is maybe maybe a, gay? Maybe a tip of the I beanie. Left. I said, "I'm out." Is waving gay? <laughs> Hi. I wave, dude. I wave fucking to almost Hi. everybody I see. I wave when I'm I wave when I'm purposely trying to be gay and funny. Like when I walk in the hills, sometimes I wave, yeah. I'm like, hey guys, I do that. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Well, hey. mm-hmm. yeah. There's that, nothing wrong with that, dude. That, Don't that, make me feel weird about this. You can't wave the that, This is high school stuff though. That you, was you should have said because I, I would be fucking whining and dying in the bitch on aim. I'd be like, bitch, I fucking love you so much, dude. But when I see you, it's fucking on-site, girl. And then I see her in the hallway, and I'm like, (laughs) (laughs) I run away. (laughs) No, also, I was with my daughter, and my daughter's way too fucking smart. And I want her to tell her mom, like, yo, dad was talking to some fucking lady. Mm. I'm like, fuck. Dad dad bit me on the arm for some lady. Yeah, for some fucking lady. (laughs) I didn't need that problem. I do miss those days, though, where you'd, like, talk yourself into uh, talking to a girl the next day and you'd be so pumped about it and then you'd like walk up to her locker and be like hey and then just fucking <laughs> just keep walking skedaddle did, did you ever have the voice crack when you finally got it oh yeah dude hi and, like, <laughs> and then you just sit the bell rings and you're like thank god fucking everyone's leaving now <laughs> yeah dude <laughs> and did you remember the people that had like oddly complex like adult relationships and in- yeah, yeah. In, in high school? Yes. That, Dude, I, I remember I found out this girl, Courtney, was doing anal in the 10th grade. And I was like... That's I was, so advanced. <laughs> that's crazy. In 10th like, grade? What? what the fuck? Dude, she told everybody at the table. She was like, my boyfriend Ryan fucked me in the ass in the woods last night. And we were all like, yo, what? Yo. <laughs> 16. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, you can't be doing that. <laughs> this is nuts. What the fuck, bro? Yeah. But, I, but back then, we were all like, that's so cool. Like, we had to act like it was... Ooh, 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 but getting ooh, fucked yeah. in the ass in the woods, that's nuts. She's fucking... Yeah. <laughs> dude, that's they, some crazy they shit. They treat them different up there, dude. Yeah, bro. Yeah, hey, her dad's dead. No. <laughs> <laughs> Lead salesman at the uh, the place. Really? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> God, God her, her dad money. was killing it. Yeah. But First you know shot. what, Damn, she was selling holes BOGO, dude. <laughs> 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 I won't get one free. <laughs> I don't know what he sells, but I know he sells something and he makes money. No, but you know what? That's what it is is with girls it's either dead dad or it's dad that spoils them mm. either extreme is bad for girls bro it turns them into whores and sometimes successful dad is neglectful dad true also turns them into whores yeah 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 i think ladies are just born whores no i think you gotta have a dad that beats your, that beats their ass that's what it is you gotta mm, have a but dad then they're that beats into that but then she might, she'll be too scared to fuck because her dad's beating her ass mm. No, okay. I think I'll that, try. I think that doesn't help at all. You know what? <laughs> that, that, they're getting that choked and worse, stuff. Dude. Yeah, you might be right. No, you know what you got to do. All right, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you the game plan. What you got to do is, <laughs> yeah, yeah that's how they make those. Those are those ladies, <laughs> dude. True. Yeah. Once you start breathing, them, yeah. 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 them bitches are scary. Those are that's a scary bitch, you'll, bro. You'll never forget. I one never want to fuck no, no, no more of those bitches. I don't want any. Yeah. If you listen, if you want me to hit you, I'm not doing it. I don't like it. I had one, and it scarred me forever, dude. I hate it. It made yeah. me think that I don't slap that hard. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, are you serious? <laughs> and those type bitches fuck you too hard. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, they fuck too feelings. hard. Yeah, bro, they fucking grind on you too hard. You know what's crazy? They fucking grab your ass and shove dick in their mouth. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know bro, chill out, lady. The, the slap lady didn't suck dick. 
What the I hell? I was like, you don't even make sense. That makes no you're, sense. You're an enigma, lady. What yeah. the fuck is happening? Damn. Like, what the fuck? Damn. Yeah. You got, yeah. You she got was it. like, I'd refuse to even think about it. She's like, it's disgusting to me. Really? Yeah. But hey, can you, uh, a bit of a can you joke me and tell me my parents Fucking stuff? punch me in the head. And, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Wild stuff. What a nuts lady. I haven't met a lady that didn't suck dick since, probably since high school. Mm. <laughs> I've not met any grown ladies that didn't suck dick. I think I've met maybe two or three. I don't know. It's That's immature. While. That's very immature. Yeah, that that is like grow up. Hey, like what the fuck are you talking? What do you mean you don't suck dick? Who are you? Yeah. What are you special? That, are, are, are they uh, you are? like I only do it if I'm in love? There's some ladies like that. Some ladies are like that, which is weird. Also, it's like bitch, grow up. We are fucking. My my thing is inside of your thing. <laughs> what are we doing? Put yeah. it in your mouth. The fuck? I Put it in your fucking mouth. I, I understand I would rather... that, though. Wait, I understand that more than the ladies who are like, I'd rather just suck your dick than have sex with you. Because there are ladies who are like, I'm not going to fuck you, but I'll let you come in my mouth. And I'm like, well, that's crazy, too. That is crazy. Yeah, yeah. You, you get nothing out of it? Yeah, yeah, that's fucking crazy. Any lady that does that is a psycho. I appreciate it, but. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. They're... No, I would hate that. I would hate if a girl only wanted to suck my dick. I, no. What? That's nightmare time. I don't need that. That's nightmare time. I'm telling you, dude. <laughs> bro, I don't. Y'all, you gotta listen. have the nightmare time happen, bro. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about just getting my dick sucked, bro. That's crazy. That that would ruin me. But you you know what? I it, think it's, you'd be all it's right. less good if like a random lady just sucks your dick. Mm -hmm. But when your your lady just sucks your dick, that's a good afternoon. I that, mean, that's but, like a treat. But what if you want pussy? Well, then you could have the pussy as well. But well, that's, great. I mean, what, that's fine. What, what if, what if uh, they, they just give you a blowjob to completion? That never happened. Just on an there's afternoon. No such th there's no such thing as that. For, uh, that never happened. Oh, straight, brother, I got to make straight. it alive. No, I'm not <laughs> saying that. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I've Fucking only had one woman in life. Haram, whatever the fuck. No, I'm not saying that. I've had enough of this. Dude. There's been one <laughs> lady in life that could again. do that. No. This, but this, this was during weed. I was the same fucking way. Blowjobs don't do it for me, bro. But the the one lady that did, were you smoking weed at the time? Actually, I wasn't. I was 18 years old then. I was barely smoking weed. I would smoke sometimes here and there. There's just something wrong with your dick then, dude. I don't know. No, pussy's just better. A mouth not as tight as a pussy is. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it can. There's uh, there's rare cases. I don't know, Not bro. even rare cases. Pussy just but feels better. Uh, yeah, but, I mean, the, the act is cool. It's like, I can't believe this lady's sucking my dick. That's crazy. I, and, I look, and here's the thing. I think that's why it doesn't happen for me. Because I used to be amazed with that. Like, damn, she really put, got my fucking dick in her mouth. And then after a while, I was like, they all put my dick in their mouth. Fuck it. <laughs> who, cares? who cares? You're jaded. Yeah, who gives a fuck? I don't care about that. See what I'm saying? Yeah. The way you just described it sounds like a Disney movie. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, everybody puts my dick in their mouth. <laughs> We're all the same. <laughs> Squirrels, rabbits. Yeah. <laughs> There's like a story, a storyline, and a song at the end. Yo, right. You yeah, end up learning. We carry. all put our Eve's dick in our yeah. mouth. You learn <laughs> to appreciate dick sucks at the end of it. This is the type of stuff I'm thinking. Damn, yo, you right. But it's lollipops or something, <laughs> okay. obviously. Yeah. You look damn. at your reflection in a puddle, you're like, damn, everyone's fucking sucking my dick. <laughs> <laughs> then you see your future, dude. <laughs> What's this? Yo. <laughs> Or, or or like uh, what's that movie, uh, that Christmas movie where he wish he did he never was born? Oh, um, fuck! We were just talking about this. Yeah, we were. What is it called? It's a uh, wonderful, wonderful life. life. It's a wonderful life. Like that, but I never got my dick sucked ever in life, bro. Yeah, dude. Oh, yo, you know what? I need that. You see the ghost of dick suck past? Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. And the ghost of dick suck future. Yo, really, it's right. The best shit ever. And then you go back to the present, and you're just a fucking Scrooge. This is a different movie, but... <laughs> that is a different movie. <laughs> but it's basically all the same, dude. You need to learn to appreciate fucking... Yeah. Yeah. They teach classes on the stuff. On, uh, on missing, sucking dick or... Missing blowjobs? Um, probably both. Yeah. <laughs> I bet both. Yeah, remember on yeah. old... You ever seen the movie Old School? That's what I, that's yeah. what I was referring to. Yo, and fucking... The boy was fucking, fucking shredding the carrot with his teeth. Oh, the gay dude. Yeah. Yeah. You need the gay dude to come in. You need the gay dude to come in with the bananas and fucking instruct, dude. Have him watch. <laughs> Give uh, the yeah. Have you ever... Have you ever been sucked by a throat goat? Yeah. I had that before. That, that That's cool. That is cool. <laughs> that's cool. That, that's gotta be cool. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, what yeah. what uh what classifies? I mean, throat as goat. That? You can't throat goat. So uh, you can't be throat goated by someone you love. It's too violent. Oh yeah, they gag. <laughs> yeah, gagging and eyes watering. I don't. Yeah, that spit is on the floor. Yeah, that you don't want that. I love her. That's too much. <laughs> I love her. I can't do that. Yeah, that's too much for your lady, bro. <laughs> you can't have your lady looking like that. Yo, fix your eyes. <laughs> And if my lady starts doing that in my head, I'm like, yo, you done it to some other dick. I hate this. I hate you damn bitch. You done it to some other man. You need to live in the moment more, man. Yeah, maybe you're right, yo. You probably right, dog. Yeah, I'm dude, overthinking you it. You need to practice stillness. Because if you're if you're thinking about <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, dude. If you're thinking about that while getting your dick sucked, I mean what what's going to work like? Yo, you're right, bro. <laughs> you you, you you're can't right. enjoy anything. Yeah. Yo, that's true, bro. It is time I'm getting my dick sucked. I'm just angry, like. You did this to how many other people? You see what I'm saying? Oh, Brother. no, you can't be mad at that. You got to appreciate those. What if she's good at it? It's your lady, That's bro. why you appreciate it. Mm -mm. She had all these practice sticks before, dude. Yeah, and you're, you're, the, the, you're the, the one she chose? Yeah. Yeah, true, I guess. You have the sensei dick. <laughs> this, is the, this is the final boss, dude. Yeah. Snatch the nut from my dick. Ooh, yeah, bro. This is like... uh. Never mind, you didn't see it. I was going to say Kung Fu Panda 4 when he stole all the other styles of Kung Fu. Or Kung he... Fu Panda 3. No, 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 shut when up. He fucking stole <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? I'm talking to my boys that have seen the movie, dude. <laughs> it's the same shit as 3. No, no, no. <laughs> Bobby, fuck? you get what I'm saying. I, I know what you're saying, dude. Thank you. I also get what you're no, saying because you... I call Kung Fu Panda 3, so I get yeah, it. Yo, Way I, different. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know if anyone else had this revelation. Have you seen Beverly Hills Ninjas? No. That's the first Kung Fu Panda. Yo, you're right, yo. With fucking Chris Farley. That's the first Kung Damn, Fu Panda. Damn, bro, that is Kung Fu Panda. Isn't that an Eddie Murphy movie? No. no it's Chris Farley what and am David I Spade. Of? Beverly Hills Cop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Beverly Hills Ninja. You gotta see Beverly Hills Ninja. I haven't Ninja. seen either it's one. Fucking... But... Have you seen any Chris Farley movies? Billy Madison. Uh, what's the one with David Spade? All of them. Uh, Tommy Boy. And that Tommy one. Boy's hilarious. Black Sheep. Black Sheep's one. hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, Chris Farley. Yeah, I he saw was those the, in dude, Billy Madison. Yo, okay. do, do yourself a flavor. Check out Beverly Hills Ninja, dude. All right. It's a great one. I'll give it a watch. It, it's pretty similar now that I think about it. It, it takes place in Beverly Hills. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the only difference? <laughs> yeah, that not not uh, not animated. <laughs> yeah. Right. Still a fat but, guy doing kung fu. Yeah, and like he, he like doesn't know kung fu, I'm pretty <laughs> sure, and then like he learns he's like passionate about kung fu. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's most karate movies. He's like, I will freaking kill him. Like, it's very, it's almost like Jack Black esque. Mm -hmm. So, if, mm -hmm. if Chris Farley wouldn't have died, a lot of people wouldn't have had careers. Probably. He was yeah, true. crushing he, he shit, was the one. and he was supposed to be Shrek. Did you know that? Yes, he was supposed to be Shrek. But I think it's better that Michael. Yeah, I was Myers say Shrek, Shrek turned Shrek. out how it was yeah. supposed to, dude. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. he was too animated to be Shrek. You need yeah. somebody that's kind of yeah. like depressed a little to be Shrek. You see what I'm saying? Was it Mike Myers that was like, yo, this dude has to be Scottish? Yeah, I mean, I think he just likes to do the Scottish accent. He he always yeah, he always finds a reason to do it. Fat bastard. Wasn't it Inglorious Bastards, too? I think he was a Nazi. No. No, he was a... He was he, an Inglorious Bastard? He, no, he was... He had, a, a lot of, he had a lot of makeup. I think he was just British in that Yeah, one. I think he was yeah. British. Yeah, he had a very small scene in it. Didn't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting stuff. That guy rules. He does. Mike That's Myers. one of my favorite movies. I had Wayne's World... Is the funniest shit that I've ever had. Wayne's World is funny. I th I don't I don't think there's anything funnier than that. I, I think like, that is the funniest. Movie. I like all those dude movies. Wayne's World, Bill and Ted's Great Adventures, like anything fucking yeah. Michelangelo from Ninja Turtles, any of that type of dude, shit, bro. My car, <laughs> Encino Man. You see what I'm saying? Anything mm -hmm. we're like, dude, fuck, oh, yeah, a jaw. A jaw, dude. Yeah. That's my favorite yeah. shit, bro. I think Dude, Where's My Car was like one of the first movies I really remember laughing at. Mm -hmm. I was like eight when I saw that, and I was like, this is unbelievable. And I don't think it holds up. It doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, but I think just Ashley. It was funny like, when I was a kid. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, this is crazy. <laughs> yeah. You have fucking, uh, I, I just got onto Spicoli, dude. Fuck is that? Fast Times at Richmond High. Never saw that, that. That's a primo cha, dude. Yeah? Yeah. I, I think that Yeah, I think that's the goat. Yeah. Yeah, he's number one. Is that And a, everyone Spicoli, else just right? admits. Imitates him. Yeah, I'd say so. Wait, so who's this no. guy? Who played Sean that Penn. Confused. Oh, oh yeah. Sean Penn? Yeah. 
dude, it, he's like the perfect like burnout stoner dude. Yeah, there there was a scene that made me like fucking spit up my fucking water, dude. He, oh, nice. He he, his dream is to be like a pro surfer. So there's a dream sequence, and he has like two fucking babes he just won, mm-hmm. and he's being interviewed by a news reporter. And she's like, "Do you have uh, anything to say uh, to the guys who said you couldn't do it?" And he's just like, oh, "Those guys are fags." <laughs> 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 it's funny uh, shit, I think it was made in like the seventies. Where the I remember only one scene from that movie. I might have just been from like the preview, but it made me laugh really hard. Where he's like in the classroom and orders a pizza. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Damn, I never yeah. seen it. I heard it. I never yeah. seen it. So it, I think it's our time or something yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, they, yeah. Those type of boys always ordering pizzas too. Didn't he die? Yeah, they love this. Uh, no, I, Sean Penn's alive, ain't he? Isn't he friends with the, no, like a cartel of, uh, dude? He is uh, with um, the boy that just, the little ass boy from Mexico. Fuck his name. Yeah. El Chapo? El Chapo. No. Yeah, yeah, he interviewed him with some shit. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, Sean Penn. Shout out, dude. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Ultimate. That's fucking crazy. I had a, I had a, you know what? Worst thing oh, about. Oh, Ray Liotta died. That's what I was Yeah, Ray Liotta about. died. Yeah. Oh, how'd, yeah. you, how'd you mix him up with Sean Penn? I don't know. Sean Penn's the bro. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Mystic River, good movie. I Yo. think that was Sean Penn. I don't know. Oh, never, I don't know. I never saw that one. Dude, Danny, look up Mystic River cast real quick, dude. I've been way off with every fucking cast of every movie I've ever guessed. Let's go. There you go. Oh. Let's go. What the fuck even is Mystic River? Good flick, dude. They got a, got a lot of famous people in it. Good, good movie. It's a, it's about like a fucking, somebody dies and Check this Sean out. Penn's investigating it or some shit. Tim Robbins. I actually, I forget. I just remember I liked it. Kevin Bacon. I like any movie with Kevin Bacon in it. Yo, who, who's your favorite actor of all time? Oh, bro, what are we doing? <laughs> what do you want me to fucking rip my brain in half? How do you figure that one out? <laughs> favorite actor of all time? All time. Leonardo DiCaprio. That's a good pick. Probably Leo. How about you? I don't know, dude. There's too many of them. Yeah, so many yeah, great actors. Mad actors. I like uh, Samuel L. Jackson. Ooh, that's good, too. Now I feel silly about mine. I mean, but Samuel, that's, that's Samuel Jackson. Yeah, just, I would say. I he's just, him in every movie, yeah, bro. Yeah, he's just in a lot of things that I like. So. Nah, <laughs> dude, nah he, he has range. How, where? Coach Carter. <laughs> Coach Carter. That's the same boy from every other thing. Dude, he was unbelievable in Django. Django's the only thing where he acts different. He's just uh, super Uncle Tom. That's that's just easy to do. <laughs> he's he's basically Uncle Ruckus in that. Anybody, any, anybody could do Uncle Ruckus, bro. He was so Uncle Ruckus that I didn't think it was Samuel L. Jackson the first that time I saw it. That shit was nuts. It's like, yo, he's going for it. He said, "You gonna, he, he said, you gonna really let them good. niggas, you gonna let them niggas sleep in the house?" He said, well, "Is you gonna burn the sheets afterwards?" <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, whatever, Crazy. whatever good impression you did last week, we were wrong, dude. That's your best impression. Because <laughs> <laughs> he was just so offended by everything. Samuel, everything that Jackson, black people though. did, he was just like, "What the fuck? Why you let these black people do this?" <laughs> maybe, yeah. they took, maybe they took his girl out of the. Uh, they took his, they took um, Jangle girl out of the fucking hot box. Yeah. They pulled out, and this, to me, this is one of the funniest lines that he has in that whole movie. They pulled out the hot box, and then they, and then he's like, um, and then Leonardo DiCaprio asked him, like, how long she been in there? He's like, well, how long she been in there? And he's like, I don't know. She been there all damn day. He was so, <laughs> he was so distressed. She been there all damn day. <laughs> like, he was irked that they was taking her out. Like, leave that bitch in there. The fuck? <laughs> he fucking hated black people. He hated them so bad. <laughs> Dude, yeah, he killed that. Hell yeah. I, I think that's a good one. I think that's a good one. I mean, that's a good one, but it doesn't really show range. He's goaded. Definitely goaded. Let me not take that away from him. And he also kidnapped uh, Mark the King the third. So I think that's why I fuck with him. Yeah. Because he kidnapped Mark the King Jr.'s <laughs> yeah. son? Yeah. Why, is that, why do you fuck with him for that? No, you're right. He is the best actor of all time. <laughs> no, yeah, what the that. fuck? King shit. <laughs> King shit. Yeah, that's nuts, dude. That is nuts to be a, a college student that kidnaps. Mark the King's son. And then make it to be wildly successful afterwards. Yeah. Like one of the highest grossing actors. And of then all also time. he never talks about it. Like that's what of you gotta look not. up and find. Nah, you can't talk about that. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. He's yeah. got roles. Yeah. True. <laughs> Most people probably don't even know that. Yeah. He's a fucking psycho for doing that. Yeah. But that's what it takes. <laughs> <laughs> Greatness. Uh, <laughs> Need that commitment. You know what else I like? I like a fast bender, bro. Ain't that his name? Fast bender? Ain't that the boy that play um, Magneto in X Men? He is good. He's great. Was fast he Gandalf? Bender? 
No, not that. Not the old one. I'm talking about the young one. He played young. Oh, he played young oh. Magneto. Oh, okay. I give a fuck about no old Magneto. Nigga, what are you talking about? <laughs> I don't, dude, I don't like know. Old Magneto. The hell is that old was Gandalf. But I don't give a fuck about that, bro. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about no old people, bro. Damn, why do you like that guy? <laughs> the young Magneto, he's the shit. He's in like two things. <laughs> and he's great in both of them. What oh, do you mean? I changed mine to uh, Cam from Modern Family. He plays a gay dude real well, and he's not gay. That, uh, yeah, uh, it's good acting. Something. It's Eric Stone Street. A- Eric Stone Street. Wait, what's, that's the fat boy? The fat dude. Yeah, he's oh, not yeah, really yeah, gay. He's not gay. I he's know not that. Gay. Yeah, I know he's it, not it's gay. A, it's uh, crazy. It, Bruh, y'all are impressed by anything. You couldn't do that. Of course, I couldn't do that. He could do it, though. Bobby could do that well, easy. Of course, I, 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 <laughs> stop. Hey, yo. Yo, seriously, stop. And that's all you really got to do is just switch up your S's a little bit. Do you fucks with Vincent Tanafrio? Who the fuck is that? Who is that, dude? <laughs> he, uh, that, I guess, like his biggest role is Kingpin in uh, Daredevil, and he's in Men in Black, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, dude. It, he was in a uh, Law and Order CI. Yeah, it, and I, I watched him with his kid. I was he's like, I love actor. how this guy talks. Yeah, he, bro, he's a great actor. I like him. Damn, you're right. <laughs> no one be fucking with Vincent D'Onofrio though. He played a great fucking man with an alien <laughs> stuck inside of his body. Unbelievable. Sugar water. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sugar. Water. <laughs> Damn, I can't believe you know Vincent D'Onofrio. Bro, he's the shit, bro. I like that guy. Yo, you guys gotta pick better actors. <laughs> <laughs> we picking background characters and shit. Mm. <laughs> there are three things. Yo. Mm. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Bro, there's some good ones out here, dog. There's a lot of good ones, dude. This is the, this is the impossible question. It is. Like, best actor of all time. That's all nuts. Time. All right, you know what? You got to think of a movie where somebody has well, to Well, no, cry. you said favorite. Oh, yeah, favorite. Not going back. True. Well, yeah. I think we already said him. True. Sammy. Sammy. Sammy O. Leonardo. Leonardo. Leo D. Sure. Vincent D'Onofrio. Vinny D. Yo, you, that's nuts to pick him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's fucking nuts. <laughs> That that guy talks unbelievable. Now you know I want to change mine. I want to do James Gandolfini, bro. Mm, that good. motherfucker, bro. He could do everything. You talking about range? Yeah, range, bro. Come on, he had it all. That's good. Yeah, he had it all. He was uh, all right. Oh, you know who? He I was all with? right. What? Yeah, have you, have you not seen The Sopranos? No, I haven't. Oh, you're out of your fucking mind. You should watch that. You need together. to grow up. You need to grow up. Everyone says that, dude. I don't have the time. What do you mean? You sit on the couch and watch TV literally most no, of I the know. days. <laughs> I haven't done that in months. He's like, a working man now. Oh, yeah, you are a working man. You're, you're, you're blue collar Drew. Okay, but you weren't working for you're like. Fucking Jackhammer Johnny out here, you bro. Are you, are. Jack, you are Jackhammer I'm playing, and shit. I'm putting Dylan and them fucking union boys to shame, dude. Uh, uh, I'm showing up under the table, just fucking taking all your you work. Got a fucking I'm, scab over here, Dylan. I'm the Mexican in the night, Snitch brother. Stitch on them, bro. Right. The Mexican, the Mexican in the Mexican. night? Yeah. You are the Mexican in the night. The Mexican in the night, dude. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> union meetings are pissed. <laughs> Damn, Who's this guy doing? all the work before we get there yeah me motherfucker and the job's done <laughs> yeah job's done dude <laughs> they just see a bright yellow hoodie dirty as hell scurrying off in the woods Yo. dude. <laughs> backwood smoke over me i'm a fucking mystery dude yo damn bro damn the dark crusader dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's unbelievable damn dog that's crazy damn you you are a working man I'm, the, I'm the, does it. your lady like that you're doing physical work? I heard they like that. Ladies like that, yeah. Yeah, ladies, ladies like we stuff. do shit with your hands, bro. They yeah. think it's like a lot more impressive than it is. Yeah. Also, gotta, you just you have to say the most basic shit, and they're like horny by it. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah. I was fucking ripping the saws all day. She's like, get the fuck out of here, yeah. <laughs> dude. She has no idea what a sawzall is. <laughs> I was picking up bags of screws. What? <laughs> Yo, picking up bags of screws? Nah, no, she, <laughs> like she that would know, kind of she would know exactly what that is. She would know you're a fraud, dude. No, yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 no. <laughs> you don't fuck some bags of screws. This motherfucker ain't got no job. All right, picking up bags of screws. Yo, I transported like 2,000 screws today. <laughs> the thing is, you want to do a bunch of little bags, <laughs> not big bags. Yo, what? Yo. I'll, uh, I'll talk to the boss about that. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, 
<laughs> nah, I, I gotta start working with my hands. Thinking about making trinkets. What kind of trinkets? What the hell? I don't know. Maybe toys. I don't think ladies like that. It, it's physical. Yeah, what are you fucking Herbie the Elf? Dude? <laughs> yeah, the fuck. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> making toys. <laughs> I don't think kids even play with toys anymore. What are you going to do you with make toys? wooden trains and shit? Yeah, right. What are you doing with <laughs> toys? They don't play with that? Fucking Bobby Birdhouses. Uh, <laughs> damn, do kids not fuck with toys anymore? Barely, bro. It's all tablets and uh, yeah. shit like that now. Wow, that's crazy, dude. I used yeah. to love toys. I, I, I remember seeing like a cousin grow out of toys, and I'm like, how is that possible? Yeah. yeah. I'm you know, going to love toys you know, Can forever. I get those? <laughs> Right, yeah, yeah. Yo, give me those. Oh, yo, bro, I brought the action figures way too late. Yeah, bro, I was in like, yeah, I'll eighth still grade. fuck with an action figure. Hell like, yeah, if it's bro. sitting there, yeah, yeah you have to. Do you make, you, did you used to make the, the sound effects for it? Of course, you got it. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, ah, yeah. oh, stop it. Yeah, I, I don't <laughs> care how old you are, dude. If you hold an action figure, at minimum, you got to see if the arms work. Hell yeah, it, you can't just pick it. You're a psycho if you pick it up, look at it, and set it down. Right, that's crazy. Yeah, but those arms do. You got to fucking kick once, bro. You need a you need a fucking you need a twelve joint action figure. That's what you need. You need the one Ooh. where the feet go like this, right, well, the knees go up, the leg go out like that. Oh, you talking ball go. joints? Yeah, yeah, bro. You gotta have all the joints on the action figures, bro. They figured out video games by the time I was a kid, but. <laughs> Uh, the last toy I fucked with, I think, was Bionicles. Bionicles. Bionicles were I never had a Bionicles. I, I remember seeing the commercials for them, though. Yeah, they, they were like the glasses where you can see, like, far and short. R really? I thought they were, like, fucking... They're thinking of bifocals. Yeah, dude. fuck you uh, talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, bro? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I used to play with those all the time. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> yeah, yeah what? I was fucking tying keys to strings and go nuts. Damn, I'm on some bullshit. Let's uh, let's wrap this. And go to the base. <laughs> I'm for real. I'm on some bullshit, dude. You gotta restock the alpha brain. Yo, yeah. What happened to the alpha brain, bro? And, uh, the, I have a new shipment coming in Tuesday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you're dry till Tuesday. Yeah. Damn, I'm bro. I'm off the sauce. You're gonna be retarded. Damn. Yeah, I think it's um, it's a thing where if you give a lot, you lose a lot. Uh, yeah, so. I mean, four alpha brains a day for two weeks probably is going to mess up. Your, yeah, bro. Your cycle so it's like the you... limitless pill. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> but good news is you'll be back next week, dude. No, yo, yeah, you got to stop because then what was going to happen? I can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't turn them off now. Dude. <laughs> yo. Let's uh let's wrap this and do the Patreon. Patreon. Yeah. The, I, I like these solo apps. I like these. These are fun. A lot of fun. Thank you guys for tuning in. Get on the Patreon. Patreon. Well, I can tell about the nightmare I had. Patreon.com slash do the deer tag. And then uh what else we got? Oh, uh Mississippi. May, May 1st. Oh yeah. April twelfth and thirteenth, Mississippi. May first, Brooklyn Comedy Club, Do Rag and Friends. That's right. And uh May third. We are at Next in Line doing another live do rag. Ooh, live do rag at a deer tag, May 3rd. No gay off this time. None there will be no shenanigans. No mm -hmm. shenanigans at all, dude. Just boys having fun. Yep. Yes, dude. I probably won't even drink that many cranberry vodkas. Mm -hmm. so. nah, I'm, I'm getting retarded. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm going, going to be fucking fucking crazy. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, I'm going nuts. Dunk uh, Contest will be back. <laughs> yes. And, uh, if, uh, if you're in Connecticut or Boston, dude, come see me this week. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The 28th, I'll be in Connecticut, 29th, Boston, with Butterboy, Tim Butterbaby. And uh, for the deets, go to timbutterly.com. Oh, yeah, 28th, we on that uh, Ghosted show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come to that, Come please. to Ghosted. We're fucking writing jokes for each other. Me and Naeem are writing uh, sets for each other, and we have to perform them. I have some fun stuff in there, I think. I think my Wait, do I have to write out every word of this? I don't even. I never do that with jokes. Yeah, you do. Yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. Write it what out. the fuck, bro? I have a whole but script for you. It, it's only got to be like five minutes. Okay, I've never, I've fun. never wrote out entire jokes like that before. But it doesn't uh, have to be like that. It could, it could be anything, dude. Just stuff you want them to say. Okay. That I, I had Claudia saying she had a gun. There was a bomb in the back. Like it's mm. fun. Yeah. Oh, all my jokes gonna be about how you suck dick good. No, nah, don't do that. <laughs> you, you, yo, you can do that, dude. That's your right. <laughs> It'd be pretty crazy if you did that. <laughs> I wouldn't even like that. That's at uh, Velvet Whip this Thursday, the Hell 28th. Yeah. Velvet Whip in Philly at 8 o'clock. And 
the movie that I'm in, Porch Pirate, is premiering at Velvet Whip after the show. At oh, 10 shit, for real? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's going to be a great night. So, uh, yeah, the one that we've been talking about where my fucking hair and beard changes multiple times so throughout the thing. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be very inconsistent and fun. And, uh, yeah, come on out. Have a good time. See you guys on the Patreon. Hell yeah. <laughs> Peace.